Good morning. So uh, Claire Giry, uh, Claire Giry, Director General for Research and Innovation, asked me to, uh, to excuse her and uh, represent her because she is unfortunately retained this morning at the Ministry for um, Higher Education, Research and Innovation. Um, it is an honor for me to deliver the speech she had prepared to welcome you here at the Cité des Sciences and de l'Industrie. Uh, let's, uh, let's start. Um, dear, uh, dear praise uh, chair of the council, dear uh, praise directors, uh, dear EURHPC chair, uh, dear, dear Albert, uh, dear EURHPC uh, executive director, dear Enders, uh, dear participants, um, I would like to thank you all for organizing and for attending the EURHPC summit week uh, this year and a special thank to uh, Price and the Gen C uh, teams. Uh, it is the first meeting of this magnitude for high performance computing that has been held uh, since the beginning of the COVID crisis. Um, France is very proud uh, to host this important event here in Paris. Uh, as a representative of the French Ministry of uh, Higher Education, Research and uh, Innovation, I am glad to, uh, to have been given the opportunity to welcome you all today. The EURHPC Summit Week has received a label of the French Presidency for the Council of the European Union. This is most significant in many respects. It is a marker of the consideration of the French um, governing bodies for the importance of the parties involved and of the issues at stake within the framework of this event. Given the succession of crises which the world is enduring, it is clearer than ever that science and research as a whole constitute a lighthouse. A lighthouse to which societies can refer to, to generate knowledge, to help in taking decisions, to find reliable information. A lighthouse that can unveil innovative solutions to contemporary problems. In this regard, digital infrastructures for high performance computing and artificial intelligence are an essential component of both academic research and of innovation in the private sector. A clearly as clearly, it is illustrated by this week's dense and exciting agenda. <clears throat> Indeed, the transversal nature of digital infrastructures led them to span across all areas of science. Whether it is climate change and health management, energy production, urban development, R&D in the industry, in particular for airborne, seagoing and ground vehicles and of course, for fundamental research, including synergetic operations with large instrument projects, such as the Square Kilometer Array in astrophysics, for example. <clears throat> in this regard, Europe is obviously the right level to foster new technological developments and to organize the procurement of state-of-the-art hardware. Many key representatives are actually present today. It is also at the European level that the development of digital skills has to be fostered and that the sharing of knowledge has to be ensured. There again, the attendance here this week is a clear demonstration of such efforts. Having chosen the European level has not only been motivated by the mere issue of scale beyond that of the individual capacities of each of our countries. It has also been motivated and it is still a matter of European sovereignty. <clears throat> a stake which has recently manifested itself in several unfortunate ways. At the French level, the Grand Equipement National de Calcul Intensif, GNC, is the cornerstone of our efforts in favor of HPC and AI. In this framework, GNC provides state-of-the-art HPC resources to support scientific excellency for research and innovation. 
in the spirit of a public service, Gen C supports both academia and industrial users from small research teams up to nationwide institutions and from startups and SMEs up to large groups. All this, not only at the service of national users, but also of European ones, through its role as a French representative in PRACE. PRACE has actually been, and it's all, and it's still a major success. It, is, it has paved the way from, for attributing computing time at the European level, notably under the exemplary values of scientific excellency as being the primary consideration. In this line, we are most grateful to praise for all its accomplishments thus far. We are mindful that these same values remain in the heart of EuroHPC. Indeed, EuroHPC now has a key role in developing European-wide policy for HPC and HPDA. The creation of the joint undertaking provides Europe with the means to achieve major digital investments at the service of current and future generation. This is unprecedented. And thus, it implies great responsibilities on the behalf, on the behalf of all of us. France has decided, has decided to invest massively in the great adventure of digital technology within the framework of HPC, of AI, and of quantum computing. To this end, France is currently preparing to apply to the second call for expression of interest to host an EuroHPC exascale supercomputing, which we expect to be open by the end of this year and to co acquire and host a high-end exascale supercomputer. This supercomputer will be hosted at the Très Grand Centre de Calcul, the TGCC, which is France's biggest HPC center, being operated by the CEA. France has many assets in HPC and high-performance computing as well. Its research teams are, the, are at the forefront of several key disciplines, including those having major societal implications, such as climate, with a major role in the IPCC, also in energy, with the hosting of the ITER facility, for example. And artificial intelligence and quantum computing with two dedicated national initiatives. More globally, scientific research is carried out in our country within a rich network of various and complementary organizations. The National Center for Scientific Research, CNRS, also the National Institute for Research in Digital Science and Technology, INRIA. And of course, the aforementioned CA, which is an historic international well-known player in the field of HPC. And last but not least, an assemble of high-end universities and institutes in which the new generation of scientists are educated through research. This network extends to a long tradition ecosystem for research and innovation, which comprise a series of historical and of recently appeared industrial players, ranging from small startups to major companies. Among those, the French multinational company Atos, Atos Bull, certainly has a key role to play within the EU strategy to reinforce its digital sovereignty and autonomy. Finally, one cannot and should not forget that all these strengths rely on men and women. Their competencies, their work, their enthusiasm, and their sharing of the European humanist values. All the latter are already ensured through our continuous efforts in providing high-level education and training in science and technology in every field of high-performance computing artificial intelligence and quantum computing in our universities and engineering schools. In this context, not only do we aim at hiring more European young graduates, but also at hosting more European students through European programs and by increasing the fraction of courses being taught in English in our French diplomas. I wish you 
all an excellent week with the most fruitful meeting and I'm sure a lot of Exascale related discussions. Enjoy your stay in Paris and thank you all for coming.